Um, I think this is good enough. Uh, hello, hello, it's good, like a people. Welcome to the Yap Seminar. Mmm, my little place where I'll be non-stop talking for 30 minutes. Literally, it's just gonna be me talking for 30 minutes. Um, unedited for the most part. Um, I'll throw some music in the background. Some cool stuff. Editor, uh, you've probably already cued the music, but such a track. Oh, sorry, I made your job harder. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make this as, as little edited as possible, but that's not very easy, so, um... You know, I think this series, it's going to be a double upload. So you're still going to get your gaming video and your potentially skit, depending on like how the week going. And so I want to do this on Saturdays of some sort. I'm not really feeling the spooky, scary Saturdays. I'm not good with horror already as it is. So the fact that I'm trying to do horror videos and uh, horror gaming videos and horror reaction videos is fucking terrible. I hate it. I can't stand it. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me stop cursing. Make the editor's job a little easier too. Okay. Um. Let's begin the Yap Seminar. First off, I want to talk about Deadpool vs. Wolverine. Oh, that video is hard. That movie is hard. Excuse me, video. I'm in YouTube mode right now. I apologize. I'm not really I'm not really here right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got my, you know, my little setup. Let me know if you have messed with the setup. And in the comments below, leave a color because this, there's a light right here that's displaying color. You know, that's like my little reflection. So uh, pick the color for next episode. Uh, And... Bro, that movie is so hard for no reason. I don't want to spoil it. But, yeah, like, talk to me in the comments. Because, like, I'm going to go down there and I'll really, like, we'll really talk about that movie for real. That's really just a t Marvel. Yo, why did Deadpool have to save Marvel? Let's talk Yo, Tony Stark is, is doomed now? Oh, my God. I'm not a fan of that. I'm a fan of that, but I'm not a fan of it. I'm a fan of it because I like Robert Downey Jr. as an actor. But I'm not a fan of that because y'all just... Y'all are playing the, the, the Fortnite card. Oh, here's here's a cool skin. Here, go have that. We're going to make the game shit, but here's a cool skin. You know, it's like, bro, don't, don't, don't disrespect me, bro. Don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. Give me quality. I want, I want the good stuff. I want the, I want the, I want the, I want the good stuff. Stop playing with my name. Y'all just trying to, y'all just trying to get a little nostalgic, like, heat. Like, that's, that's, that's how y'all trying to, like, crowd the theaters because what y'all doing right now is not working so i'm upset that y'all are using like tough cameos to like carry our movies and uh, you know i think deadpool is deadpool like i was gonna watch Deadpool no matter what deadpool is funny as shit uh his fourth wall breaking all that stuff is literally funny as hell um that whole movie we was like we was all i went with khalil and jesse another friend of ours and we was rolling that theater that that movie was so funny fire um, it's Deadpool, so, like, you know what you're getting when you watch a Deadpool movie, but it's such a fire, like, experience, but I don't like the way that Marvel's doing their thing. Marvel is really throwing the bag right now. They, they, like, like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of big video game companies and big movie companies just giving us some, some, some nonsense. Like, where's the quality? Y'all budgets are bigger than ever. Like, we used to get classic after classic after classic after classic after classic back in the day. Video games and movies, doesn't matter. And now, y'all got bigger budgets than ever. Y'all have all these resources, new technology. That's all I ever hear. Oh my god, the technology nowadays is so advanced and so amazing. Where is it? Where it at? I don't know. It's so annoying because there's obviously a couple outliers to that sentence, right? There's good games and good movies. But it's, 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 it's just like... It's not very common. It's not common. You know, it's like, geez Louise. I gotta I gotta dig through the sand to find the good stuff, you know? And a lot of just mid. Like, I should be playing games that have me like back in the day when we was uh, when we was on a game, everybody was on the game. Like, like I'm I don't even have to make a phone call. I get on the game, everybody already on. I don't have to worry about it. Fortnite, Minecraft, Terraria, other games. Uh, watching movies, Endgame, uh, uh, Infinity War, uh, Iron Man 3, things like that. Whatever. Uh, new Spider-Man, right? I don't I don't got to do nothing. <laughs> I'm already on the game, and everyone, we play until 4 a.m. I'm going to be late to work. I don't matter. I'm not, I'm not, stay, I'm not going to sleep. It's not going to happen. I'm going to be up literally for hours on the game. That's not a thing anymore. It's not a, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like a thing anymore. Like, there's not really any games where, like, like I get on and I'm like, oh, shit, everybody online. Okay, really? Let's queue it up. Like, like I'm not making a group chat on my phone for no damn 
new game. Now, there's really good single player games out right now. Obviously, Elden Ring just dropped a DLC. Black Myth Wukong is coming out. I think that's going to be a top game for real. Um, I can't think of games off the top of my head. And, you know, this I'm trying to get this unedited. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and yap, but you get my point. Like, Call of Duty fell off. 2K fell off. Um, Minecraft fell off. Uh, which which is understandable, but I feel like if they did things like correctly, they could have not fell off. Um, a lot of a lot of things fell off. GTA coming out, but what year? Okay, let's be honest. It's getting delayed. It's Rockstar Games. It's getting delayed. And you know what? I don't care. Y'all are probably like, oh well, I don't mind waiting for a delay. I mind. I'm gonna be 50 by the time the game comes out. I, like, we haven't had a GTA game in forever. So, you know, like, I could be excited for the release, but how am I going to be excited when I know it's going to get delayed, when I've waited for this for way too long? Like, like there's too much expectation, too much expectations in a lot of these big companies to make good games and good updates, new seasons, things like that. And they just give us, like, like a little bit. Now, sometimes do expectations get a little unrealistic? Yeah, sometimes we'd be like this. We want this Elder Scroll of, 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 of fire content. And, you know, if you can at least give me half. A quarter? I'm not, you know. It, but it's just the fact that, like, y'all just give us not a lot anymore. Like, nowadays, we don't get enough. Y'all get too much of a bag. Y'all get too much of a bag and charge me too much of a bag to be acting this way. To be giving me mid. To be giving me all right. Solid. I'll play it for a month or two. No. I shall buy this game. And it's so fire that I play it for the next four years. That's not a thing. I don't think I don't think I've played a game that I've that I've held on to for more than a month. Multiverses kind of do content. I'm so tired of multiverses. I'm so tired. Zoom in. I'm so tired of multiverses. I'm sorry, editor. I'm really fed up um and i was doing the no dodge challenge in my last video but i've also played like on the side like just outside of that and the game is frustrating like like just in general nothing feels correct nothing feels right when i play other fighting games everything is smooth like gameplay i don't really get mad like i, I don't like i'll lose and i'll get mad but i feel like with multiverses every two seconds i'm getting mad because someone will swing. Me or him. It happens with my cat. I'm playing Finn. I know. Me too. Sometimes, yo, I, someone throws a jab out or throws a move out. And, yo, you zoom in on the screen. I'm recording. I'll have the editor zoom in. Slow it down. Slow motion. And nothing, no contact was made in the animations. And I'm getting smacked. Oh, no. Blow me, yo. Blow me, blow me, blow me. It happens way too frequently with multiverses. And I'm really tired of the game, honestly. I'm fed up. Because it doesn't feel like I don't like I don't like the way the game is right now. I don't I don't know at all. It just nothing feels like projectile characters seem so annoying. And like a, anyone with a gun, first off, it's not a dot why I I get it's a gun. I'm not stupid, but it, like any gun moves feel undodgeable. I feel like I just died a strays. Aegis, I was fighting Aegis Smith the other day. Oh my god. His confirm, he has a confirm anywhere over a hundred, honestly. And 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 he has a move. He has a move. It's a it's a excuse me, chair. It's a dash. He has the gun. He's like, oh my god. And that shit kills no matter what. It doesn't matter. It don't matter where I am on the stage. It kills immediately. And it's like, bro. It's just a way that like. Like, no way you could be a... No way you can cross-map me. That's what's frustrating. No way you can just cross-map me. And I... I don't... There, is there a dodge timing on it? Probably not. And if there is, you're good at the game. I'm sorry. Most players are not dodging that. Let's keep it uh, real. I'm playing a fighting game. And I'm over here getting sniped. Bow, 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 bow. It's all... Like, some characters are annoying. I complain about characters like Superman and stuff like that. But at least he throwing these, right? I can't be mad. He running me. You know what I'm saying? But some characters be running around just da, 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 just backing up da, 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 and, and doing massive amounts of damage and destruction and chaos and racism. I'm like, yo, that's lame. And I know I'm Finn, so my TOD is racist. It first off, I don't like it. Do you wanna know why? 
because all I have to do is get a three-piece jab, uh, uh, light, light, and then do a up air. If I connect the boot on most stages, if I just backpack right after that, you're dead. That's five hits. And, and the jab, I'm counting the jab as one. A three-hit combo, and you're just dead. I don't like it. I don't. Me, personally, I don't like it. I miss the old combos where, boom, three-piece jab, up air, side air, boot, down air, up air again. Side, yo, there was so much drip back then, and now everything's so basic, and I hate it. I don't like it. It's so basic. And it's so easy. Like, I don't even feel like I, I've literally scammed people out of games doing that. And it's frustrating. Like I'm like, yo, this isn't really cool, bro. But if I try and extend the combo, it's so easy to dodge out of. That's the problem. Like, oh my god. Some characters get these long-ass combos, and I feel like I can't dodge out of them. I don't feel that way. I'm not going to lie. Like, But then again, I'm a fan, so I get it. But, like, scale him down and let me get my combos back, bro. Like, like I don't like the way, like, I don't like how I get. To, I have to play Finn to be good. That makes sense. Like, I know how to do it, and it's not hard. And I win a lot. Like, I have a very high win percentage. But it's like, yo, like, this is frustrating because this is my game. I, I, like, I've invested in the game. And I believe that the game, back, like, if, if you told me that the beta version, I bought the Founders Pack because I love the game. I was like, yo, this feels clean. This feels, yo, I'm I'm smoothing. I'm flowing. I'm going to Grand Finals. I'm playing on stage. I got a medal over there for second place. I know I lost. I don't want to talk about it. And I'm like, yo, this game fire. When we, when we run this back up right here, oh, yeah, we lit. When they come back with all their content in Season 2, they're going to drop characters. They're going to drop this, that, the third. Oh, we lit. It's up. It is up. We lit. Multiverses unite. They hit us with this bullshit with UR5. I didn't know they were throwing a new... I, I didn't... Oh, my God. Them switching the Unreal Engine 5 was dumb. The game looked fine. I don't think the game was the problem. You just had to fix the servers and then fix the... Um, just give us more content more frequently and then a conversation through uh, your social media platforms because them motherfuckers don't talk for nothing. And it's like, yo, bro, can you tell us, like, can you give us some news about new stuff coming out, like, eventually? And, you know what I'm saying? You got to go on Twitter. I don't like Twitter that much, honestly. So, the fact that I can only see your information on Twitter or Discord, I'm not going to go into your server with 50,000 people in there constantly getting blown up, notification, 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 like, no thank you. No thank you. I'm not, mm -mm, no thank you. And, it's like, yo, what are we doing? I just... Mm. And probably Unreal Legend 5 is easier to use, right? There's probably a good reason for it, but mirror it. Don't change the game. The No one, nobody, 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 nobody complained about the character sizes. It wasn't a thing. No one complained about the character sizes of the game. Like, my, I love the way the game played. All we needed was server fixes and just more content and more characters. That's it. Right, because it's a new game. So obviously, like, you know, it's like imagine playing Smash with like the first 10 characters. You're gonna be like a little sketchy at first, but over time, when you get to 80 characters and you're dropping heat, you know what I'm saying? Then it's fire. So it's just like, okay, good foundation. Now we just gotta add content, add content, add content. And even now, bro, I don't want Beetlejuice in the game. Why did y'all leak Powerpuff Girls so early and Powerpuff Girls is not here yet? I don't care about Beetlejuice. Who the fuck is Beetlejuice? Most of us don't know who Beetlejuice is. I'm going on a multiverses front. And it is because this is so, like, just L decision making. It's just not good. To, they're doing things that I've never heard anybody ask for. That's what's getting mad. I have never heard anybody ask for those things. I've never heard Beetlejuice's name uttered. If you open up multiverses on things they want to add, you're not seeing multiverse. You're not seeing Beetlejuice. Out my face. Out my face. Nah, there is a new Beetlejuice movie coming out. I, I saw it in the theaters under during the trailers that they were dropping before I watched Deadpool. But you're not gonna sit here and tell me that Beetlejuice is a top character that you know and that you want in the game. Like that's just not like you thinking about all the Warner Brother cartoon characters. That's really what you think about first. You think about all the cartoons they should be adding into the game. But no, I don't know anything. I don't. I don't. I, it's just like ah. Uh, so frustrating. I'm going to move on before I get mad. I'm not going to lie. It is a little funny. I was scrolling on social media, and the Ice Spice controversy is funny. I haven't listened to the new song yet, but when I heard a snippet of on a TikTok while I was scrolling, and she said, it's Miss Poopy, I said, oh, no. No, who did y'all let become famous? 
Why is she calling her? Why is she talking about boo boo? Why is she talking about doodooing? What's wrong with y'all? Yo, I would pull up the lyrics, but it's gonna get me mad. She's talking about like shitting. What are we talking about? I don't know, bro. The fact that some people get famous. She's famous because she has a nice ass. Let's be honest. And that's it. I don't, I've, I've literally, like, I don't get how she got so famous. Like, she's bad, and I can understand what she, like, I get it. I understand the curly hair. She's from New York. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. And she's not, she cheated, that she got essentially she to cheat on his girl uh, to be with him, her. And it's like, okay. And then she dropping songs, and these songs are all ass. The beat is, is fire. I get the appeal. I understand, like, the beat is dumb hard. The beat is always hard as hell. But then she starts talking, and it just kind of erases everything. So I don't get how she's as famous as she is. Because there's definitely bad women out there. Yo, bro, damn near, we're damn near making, yo, I don't, oh my god. It just frustrates me. It frustrates me the people that are famous in this universe of ours. And this is no hate on Ice Spice, like, props to you for doing your thing, right? But like, yo, can we, I don't know, just rap a little bit, like, can you go bar for bar with me? Like, uh, music is falling off, bro. Music is falling off crazy. I don't know, because this is just not what it used to be. Everyone trying to get a little TikTok clip in. And that's how I hear, that's, to be fair, I do be hearing some fire songs off TikTok, but for the most part, everything comes off of the socials. And let's see what else I have on my little Yap Seminar list. Um... No, that was literally it. So, this is the part where I'm going to start yapping about my channel. And me. And us. Us and our little community. I hope y'all are enjoying the skits so far. I do. Um, the third one should be dropping to as this drops. So, this is dropping Saturday. So should the skit. So should a gaming video that I'm not going to say. Well, actually, you guys probably know. I think the video that's dropping is... Um, I'm having bad memory right now. Wow, this is impressive. The m video that is dropping tomorrow... I actually don't know. Whatever. I'm going to edit it in a couple of hours anyway, so. Uh, fuck. Uh, that's annoying. I hope you guys are enjoying this sketch. I do have a couple short films that I'm going to be dropping. Um, I'm working on a couple short films right now and longer skits, like video skits. So, y'all are going to like that all. Um, I'm going to have everything organized in a beautiful playlist on the home screen and in the playlist tab. That way, y'all can divulge in the skits content if you're here for the skits content. And the gaming content, if you're here in the gaming content. That way, it's all kind of like, oh, it's floating around. Um, the fourth dimension channel. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get rid of the channel because the old skits are on there. And I, I do find those skits funny as shit. I don't think I'll re-upload those on this channel, though. It's kind of crazy. But... I do think that just pull, putting all my focus towards this channel is definitely the key. I, I, I If y'all don't know, I'm doing an upload challenge, um, but there's no number to it. It's just trying to drop a v daily videos as much as I can. And I'm challenging my... It's more like a challenge to myself, and it's not really a challenge. There's no number to it. Um, but yeah, I do want to go a whole calendar year and try to get a daily video out every single day. Um, there's a lot of games coming out, so I mean, it's not hard. And I, I am playing horror games now. That is a thing. So that's fun. More rebranding coming to the channel. Uh, obviously, I'm going to send the avatar. So those of you with, you know what I'm saying, a little a little insight and uh, reading between the lines can probably assume uh, how I'm going to brand this a little bit. But I am going to rebrand the channel a little bit more. Again, I've, I've been changing the channel, like, logos and banners, like, as time has gone on. And I obviously renamed the channel itself. So, so, you know me. I'm going to do my thing as per usual and cook up some heat for y'all and... You know me. It's gonna look fire. It's gonna look fire. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I do have a couple ideas, and I was sitting on them. So in the comments, I know I've asked y'all to comment like 50 times. So comment 51 times. There you go. Um, I'm thinking of a game show, right? Um, and it's called the Gamer Gauntlet, right? I have the Horror Gauntlet going on right now. Then the Gamers Gauntlet. Obviously, I'm gonna be doing skits with Khalil, Jesse, Alex, and me. There's only four of us. So I'm thinking we do a little Gamer Gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? Play some games. Uh, uh, tweak the fuck out and you know uh, some punishments for the losers I'm a fan of this I think it'd be funny I think it'd be cool uh, we all have long hair so I'm not gonna lie there will be some crazy stuff like someone's going bald <laughs> I have not discussed this with any of them this is all just me talking right now here sitting in this chair I made the idea an hour ago 
and someone's going bald. That is a that is a fact. Somebody's going bald. Everybody got long hair. I have long hair. Alex has long hair, just like mine. Khalil, he has like twists. And Jesse, he is like, I, I think, didn't he just braid his shit? Yeah, he just braided his shit. So somebody is going bald, and we are just going to cause mayhem. It's going to be so funny. There's a lot I want to do with this channel, and I'm actually really excited. So I hope y'all do back everything that I'm doing. Um, but y'all have been supporting like crazy. We've made our strides doing this whole horror gauntlet thing. And I do appreciate all the love. It's, it, it's truly much love because, you know, I, it, was, it was funny. Like, right before I left to vacation, my videos were doing okay. Like, they were doing all right. I went on vacation. That was when FNAF, like, 4 and 5 were dropping. And, you know, this is like, I think when I was on vacation, FNAF 4 dropped for the channel. And I was like, oh, okay. Yo, we cooked while I was gone. Like, my, my, my subscriber peak and video like view peak they like, hit and now i kind of figure out like the role of it and how to kind of keep that rolling um i might play the fnaf fan games to be honest i'm thinking about it i might play the fan games but obviously black myth wukong comes out the 19th so i'm gonna play that and that's only like 13 days away i do have some other horror games i'm gonna end up playing but i think i'll probably play a fan game in between it fan i, I don't i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna sit here and keep it a buck with y'all I'm going to finish the FNAFs that I beat. I beat two. I beat one. I don't think five has a uh, uh, custom mode or night six. I tried figuring it out. I'm probably going to have to Google it. And I think I skipped four and I six. I just, oh, I'm hating right now. I don't think I can do four and six. Those are just not within my power. Uh, FNAF three. I beat FNAF three too. So I'll, I think those games, I'll give you guys night sixes and, and custom. Absolutely, uh, screw FNAF 4 and screw FNAF 6. I can't do it. It's something about games that are controlled by audio only. The game is really just audio only. There's no video. Like, like it's obviously like you're managing like very little things, but it's all audio. And sometimes I, I can't. The sound cues are too random. Sometimes it's like, okay, I got it down. And then sometimes it's just racist. Oh, no, no, sir. FNAF 4 is the worst. I really hated FNAF 4. FNAF 4 had me crashing out worse than I've ever crashed out. I didn't throw anything because it's not like I, it's not like when I'm playing multiverse where I have my controller in hand, I can just throw the controller. I was mad, livid, literally for a couple of hours. And I was furious, absolutely mad. Like the maddest human being on the planet. Because it's like, no way. I'm, I'm, I'm like, it's so frustrating. I don't, I don't even, I don't even understand how people play that game beat it shout out to people that beat that game literally annoying as hell it constantly like sometimes sometimes let's say bonnie's the left door sometimes i'll go to the door loud ass i'm like damn bonnie close the door and then sometimes i'll go to the door and be like and then i'll, I'll flash a flashlight boom well I'm about to get mad right now talking about it. This is yo, know, so frustrating. FNAF 4 is a terrible game, and then FNAF 6, I don't, I don't, I don't get the audio cues in that game. That game is really confusing, and it is insanely frustrating. I really get mad playing that game, and it's so, 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 so infuriating. I genuinely, I don't like that game because it's so confusing. There's no explanation to how these animatronics work. Dude, like, there's, it's not like FNAF 1 through 4. Uh, no. 4 doesn't even really have that either. It's not like, uh, 4 has a tutorial. It's not like FNAF 1 through 4 where you have, like, you know, either phone guy calling you or, like, on screen, like, tutorial of, like, what am I doing? How do I know how not to die? How do I know? Uh, it's just like, hey, good luck. Go in there. Don't die. Like, whoa! Like, explain things to me. Explain things to me. Like, it got to a point, like, oh, my God, it's so frustrating. Like, I... Mm -mm. Nope, can't do it. Four and six, I'm not can't do. It. One through f one, two, three, and five. Yeah, I'll do the night six custom night. Those th those are f honestly fun games. I was mad because of the challenge. I think that's a good challenge. I'll do one through. Uh, yeah, so that's how that's gonna go. I think how long I've been doing this? Twenty six minutes. Is that a good time? We'll go for thirty minutes. Aim it for the thirty. Big three zero. Um, and man. This channel be gonna be lit. We gonna get lit in August. Oh, yo, August is always a tough ass month for me, and July is always okay. I kind of hit my rhythm at the end of the month, so that was cool. I'm like, I'm actually really happy about that. And honestly, like, 
I just kind of run about it a different way. So I am excited at that. You know, we're kind of on an uptick and the videos are doing well. I think multiverses might get dropped, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I just don't think I'll have time to play it ever again on the channel. I'll probably play it, like, off screen, maybe on stream. But I'm playing Elden Ring on stream, and I'm, I'm going to beat the game. That's also something I'm really excited for. Elden Ring. I, I updated this stream, y'all. I'm literally so excited because I'm going to stream. I'm going to stream Saturday. I'm going to stream Saturday. So you're going to, like, probably watch this video, and then I'm going to go live after. Yo, I'm Elden. Yo, the Elden Ring stream gonna look so cool. Obviously, I'm doing. I'm gonna tell y'all. So you know what I'm saying? Cause you're gonna see it in two hours anyway. So I have my camera, right? So obviously, like, imagine this big screen, but you know how my gaming videos are, right? Or no? Yeah, you, you know, if you if you if you tune in the live streams, you know how the live streams are. Game screen. I got myself on the right side of the screen. Am I pointing the right? What's the right? I'm I'm on the right side of the screen over here, right? I'm on the right side over here. Under, I'm obviously in my Spike Spiegel cosplay. That's a, that's the a designated cosplay for the Elden Ring DLC because I'm the bounty hunter, right? That's so, first off, hard as hell. I'm so glad I came with that idea. I'm going to be on the right side. Underneath my camera, wanted poster. It's going to have, like, smoke emitting from it. It's so hard. It's so hard. And I designed it yesterday. I designed it a couple days ago. So tough. So it's going to have the bounty of, like, the next guy who I have to go hunt down. So clean, literally so clean. It's it's tough. It's just like a nice little thing that's there, and it's so clean. It's so clean. Oh my god! And I just, I love it. I do. It, 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 like I, re I'm really excited about like Elden Ring. So obviously I'm back from vacation, so I'm gonna be uh, live streaming Elden Ring DLC. I heard Shroud has a new f FPS game. Now it looks interesting. It's a three v three style. So apparently you control two characters and you switch between them. Obviously playing through it and like there's mechanics that like make it really cool and interesting. But I'm like yeah, I might play it. But I'm not a big FPS guy. Even though like I I'm, I've always been genuinely good at FPS games, and I, I could get like crazy nice if I like lab it. But I don't know. FPSs aren't really like crazy right now. Like. Am I gonna play Fortnite, Apex? Them games have been on forever, bro. I'm not trying to deal with no 30-year-old veteran like that's been playing Apex since he was in 1902. So the game looks cool though. I will play it. Street Fighter, Street Fighter live streams are coming, yo, because they drop in. Uh, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna have a Fatal Fury cosplay. Terry, put it in reverse. I'm playing Terry, and the two characters after that. There's two DLC characters, two two shorties. So fine. I'm playing both of them. It doesn't matter. Literally because they're females. That's really it. They just look cool. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm invested. I'm invested in the story. Um, I just don't like the fighter pass thing. You got to buy the pass every time. So I bought the pass because I'm going to play those three characters in the pass. I don't like how they have it set up, though. Bro, the game is $60, and then I got to pay like 15 for a pass every time to get four more characters. That's literally racist, but whatever um i think i hit my 30 yes i did i almost hit the 30 minute mark so this is where i'm gonna say uh, adios i hope you enjoyed the yap seminar um you know this is cool and i really enjoyed it i enjoyed it so you're gonna get this every week on saturday or sunday depending on how my week goes because sometimes sometimes i'll be like having the week planned out like for content and then khalil will call me on wednesday like yo we're doing this all day well now i gotta shift things along so most likely you'll get one of these on saturday i do record I'm, I'm recording this on friday just so that way i can have the most up-to-date lore for y'all so that way next friday i'm gonna I'm a hit y'all with some more fire lore so hopefully the lore is good and clean and fire and yeah um i love everything watching if you enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe share with your friends family, other friends. my nose i hate when this happens i'm talking and my nose like acts up much like mucus builds up it's like bro watch out i'm trying to do an outro I love it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Show it to your friends, family, sisters, uncles, daughters, best place are important too. I will see you in the next video. Leave comments down below. A bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, multiple sections. So it'll be cool. Uh, leave stuff down below you want to talk about too. I will talk about stuff that y'all put in the comments. So if you put stuff in the comments, I will talk about it. Um, so yeah. I love it. Thank you for watching. Next video. Peace. I'm going to roll away. That's, that's like the outro. I, I roll away. So. Oh my God. I'm like stepping Oh, I just rolled over. Oh my gosh, I'm just rolling away. Yep, I'm almost there. Yeah, I turn in like this. I can't help but fall in love. So much motion in her ocean, cause commotion by her buns. All of the baddies be hearing my shit. All of the biddies be feeling my songs. Most of these shorties she's shaking their hips. And some of these ladies be taking along. We got a couple of bobbies, they lit at the party, they dancing, they showing their thorn. I see a team at the party, she lingering with all of her friends, so they coming along.